Welcome to Pyjama Preaching for Friday the 26th of February. And we're looking at Mark chapter 14 verses 10 and 11. For Judas, one of Jesus' closest, closest followers, this was the final straw. This is thinking about the woman anointing Jesus with that expensive oil. He went to the chief priests and agreed to betray Jesus, much to their delight. With a promise of money ringing in his ears, Judas slipped back in among Jesus' followers and waited for his chance. So, Barclay begins his commentary by saying, it is with consummate artistry that Mark sets a side by side the anointing at Bethany and the betrayal of Judas, the act of generous love and the act of terrible treachery. And um, I'll scribble my few notes. Um, we know so little about Judas. We know that word betrayal. And we know he was called by Jesus and that he left his former life and followed Jesus. Jesus, Judas wasn't like the other disciples, though, because they all came from Galilee. But he was from Kerioth, which was a small village on the southwestern uh, extremity of the territory of Judea. It was occupied by the Edomites, and if he was descended from the Edomites, he wasn't actually a true Jew because he wasn't from one of the 12 tribes. We know nothing about his family apart from the fact that his father was called Simon. Matthew, Mark and John all identified Judas with as being the one who would betray Jesus to give over. In Luke he is labelled a traitor. We're told that Judas went to his own place in Acts 1 verse 25. We don't really know what that means. His fate was in God's hands. And we can leave it at that. Barclay adds, We shudder at Judas, but let us think again. Covetous, jealousy, ambition, the dominant desire to have our own way of things. Are we also very different? These are the things which made Judas betray Jesus. And these are the things which still make people betray him today. And so during Lent there is this opportunity for self-reflection. And maybe the words of Anne, can it be that I should gain an interest in the Saviour's blood, died he for me? When we think back on our indiscretions, our stupidities. And think back to Ash Wednesday, when our sins are forgiven and we mark ourselves with a sooty cross. Amen.